Hello everyone and welcome to a bit of a tutorial, as I would say, to on how to install mods for and basically how to install R Factor. So I'll go over the normal procedures. I'll do it both for Steam and for the CD version. I'll start with the CD version. Obviously, you'll have the likes of obviously in the disc tray. Basically, click on the DVD ROM section. Well. Drive anyway, it'll load itself up and then eventually pop up with. Well, I've already got it installed, but you'll have it come up and then do, 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 go through the normal procedures of installing a CD onto your computer. And then, yeah, okay, so gone through that. Now I'll do it for Steam. Okay, so pretty much, obviously, you go to games, it'll be in racing for sure. It may take a while depending on when you find this so basically just type in our factor in the search bar and it should come up right there and then as you do normal procedures for steam add to cart go to the cart purchase blah 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 blah, blah. then you'll have it in your library somewhere and i obviously don't have it because i've got it already installed and then you will go it will obviously be installing onto your computer well via steam and this is where it gets and may get confusing for some. Now, if you have it on disk, it will be depending on where you want to install it. If you have two hard drives, install it on the one that has the most memory. Otherwise, it'll be on program files. Might be in x86. I'm not 100% sure. Just check in both. It'll be in program files. Just scroll down and it'll be R Factor. And it looks something like this. Obviously, this has got a bunch of mods in it, so it'll look a bit. Actually, I'll go in here, and we'll have a look. So that's basically what it's just going to look like when you first install it. Now, when you put a bunch of mods on it, it's going to end up looking something like this. Now, you want to use this one, not dedicated, because dedicated is multiplayer only. I'll even show you what it looks like. Dedicated service, here you go. So that's one reason why you do not want to use that version. So you want to use that one. Usually if you go on it for the first time, you'll end up having it pop up with the config, which I'm not going to play around with because I've already set it up for myself. So yeah. That's still going. Okay. Um, so pretty much, we'll just, I'll just show you how to do a mod. Okay, so pretty much I've got a bunch of mods in here, blah, 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 blah. That way. And so obviously I've downloaded a bunch of mods over time. We'll take, the, we'll take a track and we'll also do a... Um, both exe and aria or zip or whichever file you're using so we'll go run america for example and what can you find? doesn't have, well has a lot i would say oh, aria. yeah so we'll go with probably okay we'll just go cart factor for example so pretty much you'll have the likes of this pop-up for a full mod. And then you have the likes of this possibly pop-up for a track mod. Now, sometimes it'll have locate. It'll go via game data, and then you have to go to locations, and then to the eventual, th eventual um, track mod, which will come up with this. Now, when you do this, obviously you want to have your R Factor folder open, depending on whichever one you do. If it's track... Then, why is that? If it's a track, then you want to go just drag the whole file into locations, drag and drop. It'll put it in, it'll move it, well, copy it into there, and then it'll eventually be automatically. Well, once it's in there, that's it, it's in the game. For a car mod or a full mod, you want to go back to the start and use a data. Depending, you want to put into, depending on what it has, sometimes you actually will need to put it in. You want to go click it once and then you just want to drag and drop that straight in. But our UI, obviously just depending if it's in one big file or not, just copy the whole lot into UI for the reason of showing everything in the UI. User interface, as it stands for. RFM is just basically... Um, Pictures and details added to the user interface, so you want to drag and drop all that into the RFM file. 
you don't necessarily need to add the music or the movie files. Yeah, the music files. Um, yeah, movie files and music files you don't really need to add unless you want to. It's just purely for background music and the intro video. For adding vehicles, um, the talents is usually drivers, so they are at provide racing in the mod. Um, you just pretty much want to copy the whole lot instead of just going in there and then just copying the whole lot. I figured that out myself a long time ago, but yeah. Vehicles, depending, you can, you'll sometimes not have the pace car there on its own. You'll have it inside the mod here. If that happens, just copy the whole um, file in. If it's got pace car, then you can, then it's probably best you go into vehicles and you go down to where is it? pace car. And obviously that's pretty much all the ones. And then you pretty much want to copy it into the into the um Pascal file. I've already got it, so it doesn't matter. And then sound files. Usually you want to go sound and then just copy the whole lot over. So it's pretty simple and easy to do, to be fairly honest. Now for the fun part, an EXE file. Now an EXE file can be a bit of a pain in the butt sometimes. And it can make things, but it also makes, th makes things very, very simple and easy. Because it just means you just go click, install, done. So we'll take VFR F1 2014, for example. Wait for it to load itself. There we go. Yes, obviously it's standard stuff. Some at times it's not in English. It's kind of annoying sometimes, but it is pretty easy to um, understand since it's a basic install. Let's keep going. Once you get to this, depending on where you've got it installed. If you've got it installed in Steam, then you need to go PC... And wherever your Steam folder is, so it may be in program files or it may be in your hard drive. So I've got mine in my hard drive. You'll go Steam, and then you'll go down to Steam Apps, Common, and your R Factor folder. If it's not, and you've got it on your own like this, you just want to go click on your R Factor folder, and then you go Done, and then it'll install it. And then pretty much it'll install the whole thing onto there, and then click Done afterwards. So that's it. I've already... I'm not going to install it because I've already got it. You'll have that in the last page. Done. Simple as that. And then usually what will happen, this is my R Factor way to get into it, and then what will happen is it will come up with the R Factor sign there. Go to black screen, load up that, and then go through. Depending if you've, if you've had one of these added, then, well, depending if the mod's got one of these, then it'll come up with what that a new um, intro picture. Give it a while to load, since it does take a while to load once you put a new mod on. So do give it some time. Once it loads, it'll have all the oops, all the new UI come up like this. Each mod has its own UI, for ex like this one. Um, some do have different, and then usually it will appear here with it in red. Um, now, now the problem is when you do get mismatches and all that. When you do get a mismatch, for example, then something's either missing or you haven't installed the mod correctly. So, for example, I'm not exactly one hundred percent sure on a mod that's got a mismatch that I've got on here. I don't think I have any. But yeah, when there's a mismatch, it usually Usually what it'll do is it'll either come up with why, the, why there's a mismatch or um, if it doesn't, then you'll alt tab out and it'll show you. And usually it'll be a number of files that are in the, um, that are in the, that are missing from the mod. So it can be a UI file, like sometimes you'll click on the mod and then it won't load because there'll be UI data and all that missing, but that's no real issue. So, what you're just pretty much doing is just pressing it to, usually, sometimes you'll get it on a track, most times it is a track, if it's a car, then the car's model won't load and you'll just be driving a grey bo box around, so, yep. So, if that does happen, then just be sure to, um, well, if you can't find another mod that's pretty much the same car or track, then, unfortunately, you're kind of going to have to live without it. But if it isn't, just try to find another one. Usually, most of the good mods and 
um, car mods, yeah, car and track mods will not be a mismatch, but you do get them on the odd occasion. So yeah, hope this hope this was helpful for you guys and have fun.